वेलकम टू इकोहॉलिक्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द केन्स थियोरी ऑफ बिजनेस साइकिल ओके सो वी हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ थियोरीज वी हैव डन सनस्पॉट थियोरी वी हैव डन हॉट रेस थियोरी ओके एंड वी नो दैट व्हाट इज अ बिजनेस साइकिल नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द केन्स थियोरी सो व्हाट डज दिस थियोरी सेज ये थ्योरी हमें बताती है कि जो फ्लक्चुएशंस होते हैं ना आपके बिजनेस साइकिल में द फ्लक्चुएशंस और द वेरिएशंस इन योर बिजनेस साइकिल इज ड्यू टू व्हाट फैक्टर ओके इट इज ड्यू टू इन्वेस्टमेंट्स ओके सो जो वेरिएशंस इन बिजनेस साइकिल्स आर ड्यू टू योर वेरिएशंस इन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स नाउ दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट ओके दिस फैक्टर इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन वन थिंग दैट इज योर एम ओके the marginal efficiency of capital now what does this marginal efficiency of capital mean this basically means the profit expectation okay whenever a person is investing what what is uh, running in his back of the mind ki how much profit i will earn okay that is the meaning of your marginal efficiency of capital the basically the profit expectations okay now you are investing some 50 crores and you are expecting your profit to be 150 crores okay so here what is happening your mec is high you are expecting a lot of profit you are expecting a profit okay so when your mec will be low mec low kab hogi if you are investing 50 crores and you are expecting ki yaar i'll get a less profit from this maybe i can get 40 crores maybe i can get how much 49 crores okay you are basically pessimistic that you will not be getting enough profit so when your mec is high you are basically expecting a lot of profit and your me mec is low you are expecting less profit okay now investments okay investments your investments depends upon the mec now when mec is high your capital is being used very efficiently okay uh, let's understand from this term only marginal efficiency of capital it basically means what uh, your you your you are using your capital very efficiently theek hai so when your mec is high your in uh, the investor would want to invest so your investment is high mec is low investment is low okay and mec is basically what mec is your profit expectation okay i hope this slide is clear to all of you let's move further and understand how does this how can we relate this to the business cycle okay now let's draw a business cycle and understand so what are the four phases of business cycle you all know expansion uske baad what happens first is your expansion then you'll reach the peak this is your peak point and then you start falling down this is your recession finally you hit the bottom you are in depression this is the trough and this phase here is your recovery phase okay so these are all the phases of business cycle now and now let's understand how will the investment okay investment affect this business activity or the business cycle okay so investment okay investment further investment further depends upon what you all can say with me it further depends upon your mec that is your marginal efficiency of capital which is what profit expectations expectations now let's come to expansionary phase okay expansionary phase mein what is happening people uh, people think they are uh, basically expecting a lot of profit so here mec your mec is high and due to which what is happening your investments is high and ab uh, your investment is high so basically you would need people okay to work okay uh, so here what will happen employment will rise and if you are employing someone you have to give them income also so employment also rises okay and what happens income also rises 
ओके एम्प्लॉयमेंट राइजेस तो क्या होगा आपका आउटपुट बढ़ेगा और इफ योर आउटपुट इज राइजिंग सो अल्टीमेटली योर इनकम विल राइज सो बेसिकली दिस इज अप्पी फेज फॉर योर इकोनॉमी ओके वेन एम ई सी इज हाई इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर हाई ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड अंडरस्टैंड कि वट विल हैपन नेक्स्ट अब नाउ सींग दिस की आर इकोनॉमी इज ग्रोइंग मोर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर इकोनॉमी इज अट्रैक्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट्स ऑल्सो सो ऑल द फैक्टर्स आर एम्प्लॉयड ओके फ्रॉम एवरीबडी इज इन्वेस्टिंग ऑल द लेबर्स आर एम्प्लॉयड ऑल द रॉ मटीरियल हैज़ बीन यूज ऑल द मशीनरीज आर वर्किंग एट देर बेस्ट now ultimately what will happen your uh, supply of these factors okay raw materials labors will uh, fall short so your factor cost factor cost factor cost will rise and if your factor cost is rising now what will happen you will get diminishing returns and if you are getting diminishing returns now your yeah, mc is falling now if your mc is falling that means you are expecting less profit so what will happen your economy will ultimately from this peak where everything was happy okay people were having a lot of uh, employ people were having employment they were having income everything was good you have reached here and now what is happening factor cost has risen because everything has every resources which you were using has been employed okay now you are short of uh, the factors now what will happen your economy will slowly go towards recession where everything is sad okay uh, it is basically a pessimistic stage where your mc is less and less mc means what investments are less and slowly 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 we will fa fall in the depressing stage okay where everything is low okay and then we'll uh, touch the trough this is the last declining point Be below this we cannot go and what will happen to our rescue who will come you all are right the government will come because private sector would not come because everything is falling down why would they come because they are not expecting profit and what will happen the finally the government jumps and they start investing okay because government is there for the people is there for the economy basically okay when nobody is investing and we have reached depression the government will jump and the government will pump money and what will happen a little bit of demand will be created in the economy and seeing this demand now our investors will think let's jump again and start our productive activities okay because now they can see demand now they are expecting profits now their mc is high so what will happen from this depressive state we will move towards recovery stage okay so this is how the chain goes first the variations come because of investments okay and investments depend upon your mec i hope the theory is clear to all of you i'll see you in the next class and also we have a request if you want us to make videos on specific topics concepts or subjects please let us know in the comment section below and yes if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe to our channel ecoholics thank you